The no. answer is never says to hit your wife. The Talk answer to... is that the, no. the, the Quran does. No, no. Definitely that's for you. does say to... that yes. you can physically discipline no. your wife. Okay. No one knows its true interpretation except Allah and those full in knowledge. But you're not oh. addressing the question at all. So there are many, many verses in Quran that use the same word strike but it means something else Don't i'm sorry it. that your book contradicts itself no, so it often doesn't contradict itself. yes it definitely it, does it and it doesn't matter how much poisoning of the okay. well okay. or okay. other I logical see. fallacies the quran tries to use we understand that those said. are logical fallacies m dog says does surah and nisa 434 apply in heaven or can the wives hit back i didn't understand I could read it if you'd like. It says in the Quran that you can beat your wife, but I you know, can only it beat your say, wife no. so severely. Yeah, no, but the question, the question is asking is whether the wife can hit back. Okay, the thing is that the Quran doesn't say that uh, hit your wife, okay? It just says... Yes, it does. No, that doesn't say. It doesn't say... Yes, it me, does. Okay. Uh, this, I, I tell you, okay? Quran <laughs> says, uh, I can bring for you uh, also, um, you know, uh, interpretation, or be better say translation, that it says, uh, you know, leave them. I can read for you, and it doesn't make sense for uh, for me that uh, such a, let me read for you, such a God that says, beat your wife, in chapter six, 65, verse 6 says that, let the woman who are undergoing a waiting period, this is a woman that you are have divorced, okay? Live in the same manner as you live yourself, in accordance with your means, and do not harass them with a view to making their lives a misery. So God tells me to treat a woman that I maybe hate, I just have divorced, and I have to live with her three months, okay? in such a way, okay, and then on another side, God tells me to beat my wife that I'm going to live with, with her. No, chapter 434 says that after the two steps, leave her. And chapter 435 says, and in case you fear split between the two, then send forth a judge from his family and a judge from her family in case they both are willing to act righteously. So it's about both of them, not one of them. I love that you're not addressing the question at all. The question There's a passage that, where the Quran does advocate physical discipline for no, wives. Absolutely does not. it also per permit that the wife can hit back? The answer no, is no. no you no. know it's no. I no, know it's no. The audience knows that no, the answer is no. The answer is not, is never says to hit your wife. The Chapter answer two. is that the, no. the Quran does no, no, definitely you. does say to, that yes. you can physically discipline your wife okay. and no. no she is not allowed that's, to hit back no, that's a backward islam chapter 30 verse 21 says and among his signs is this that he created for you mates from among yourself that you may find tranquility in them and he has put love and mercy between you. So such a God who has put love and mercy between you allows you to beat your wife. Come on, man. Okay? So don't please... Uh, don't I'm take sorry it. that your book contradicts itself no, so often. No, it doesn't often. contradict itself. Yes, it definitely it, does. It is, it, is, <laughs> it is wrong understanding. And okay. I said for you, chapter 3... Give me about a month. Give me okay. about a month to compile my, my notes for the book into a single unit. And then I can show you all of the different all of the different verses that contradict everything you just said, so that everything you said that it doesn't say, no, it actually it does. does say, including your own citation earlier okay. today. All right. Notion Slave says, why do you waste your time on some opponent, let's see, making up complete opposite of mainstream and historical Islam? Maybe this is meant for Aaron. Namely, they're maybe saying that perfect dawah is making up the complete opposite of mainstream historical. They didn't tell me. I don't know who it was for. This one coming in well, from... He did, he did say that you can't follow the Quran and flog prisoners, and we've seen how many different Muslim countries do, in fact, do that. So okay. the, it I would seem that the majority of Muslims don't follow the Quran, according to him. No, they don't do that, because, uh, unfortunately, uh, they just abuse uh, you know, Islam and um, for their own... Power. Chapter 3, verse 7 says, It is he who has sent down to you, O Muhammad, the book. In it are verses that are precise. 
They are the foundation of the book and others unspecific. As for those whose heart is corrupted, they will follow that of it which is unspecific. So it means that if you don't understand it, you don't have to follow those unspecific verses like chapter 4, verse 33, desi desiring to create confusion and their own interpretation. And no one knows its true interpretation except Allah and those firm in knowledge. So if you want to uh, interpret Quranic verses, first of all, you have to be a Muslim. Because if you are not a Muslim, you will interpret it in the way that you want to create confusion. So No, but what if no. you don't want to create confusion? What if, what if you're like me and you want to make sure to remove all, the, all of the confusion that the Quran has written into it? We want to eliminate confusion and have a clear understanding. Then you're gonna yes. you're gonna read multiple translations so that you get you know, so you have an idea of what they're all talking about, and then you're gonna have a panel of people who understand Islam and who understand Arabic and can can eliminate all that confusion for you and spend three and a half years studying that just so that some idiot in the in the chat can tell me oh he has a wrong understanding of Islam. I got a better understanding of Islam than many Muslims do. Mm -hmm. This one coming Quran in. chapter. Okay, let me fast say, Quran chapter 43, verse 5, strike is ignore. Shall we utterly ignore you because you are a wanton fault? Quran chapter 4, verse 101, strike is trouble. So there are many, many verses in Quran that use the same word, strike, but it means something else. So just don't take one. So whenever the Quran lies, we find a contradiction to that lie. Okay. You say or we just ignore that it said that and pretend no. that it said something else. No, Quran said that those firm in knowledge understand the true interpretation means that they don't contact God. Wait, but wait, wait. Put them, uh, those but those who put fear them. knowledge? Firm. Those who are firm in knowledge. Firm. Dude, what's firm knowledge. in? I don't understand what you're saying. Shut up, dog. What Allah is firman? Only not Allah says only God and those firm in knowledge, those who have knowledge, good knowledge, okay? Uh -huh. Firm in knowledge. Only they understand. How they understand, they don't call God, but they put the verses beside okay. each other and they understand it. They don't say, Oh, it is contradiction. No, they say it is completion. Okay, so if you understand this it, explain this verse explains. If you understand it, then you know it is a contradiction. No, and it doesn't matter how much no, poisoning no, no. of the okay. well or okay. other I'd logical said, fallacies yeah. the Quran tries as to I use. Said, we understand that those said, are logical fallacies yeah. as I said, and contradictions. As I said, you have to be first, uh, first Muslim to understand that No, no, that no. God, you, you God don't have to be Muslim because that's, that's one of the many things you've gotten wrong tonight. Oh, yeah. You don't need to be a Muslim. You don't need to believe the nonsense to understand what the nonsense okay. says. All right. That, that's what, what Quran says, that you have to be a Muslim. I know. The Quran says a lot of things that are not true. Yes, okay. But yes. that's just one of them. You right. don't have to be Muslim to understand what the hell the fairy tales are saying. Okay. To interpret it, you have to be a Muslim to interpret no, it. To, to interpret it in such a way that you still believe it. Well, then you got to have something going wrong in your head. But you don't right. need to. Ha you don't need to be a believer okay. to understand what the Quran is saying. No, but to to see through the Quran, you, you don't. You, it's better if you're not a believer okay. to understand the Quran. And and, and I would say. That reading the Quran, especially if you're not, if you don't read it in the original Arabic, if you read it in a translation to your home language, and if you read it with a panel of people who understand it, then you're not going to be a Muslim anymore. Okay, I said what I said, yes.